The luxurious world of Chanel, whether it is fashion, skincare, or makeup, we all want a piece of this fashion house in our collection. Hi, my name is Sean. Welcome to another episode of the True Skincare series where I do this every single Wednesday. My background is microbiology and biochemistry. I bring science to beauty and I'm also in the luxury beauty space. So hopefully you would like subscribe and share as we cover the world of Chanel skincare. I'm also going to give you the history as well as some of the best sellers and their ingredients in this video as well. This was a requested video and I'm super duper excited to dive in because Chanel just happens to be one of my favorite brands of all time. So in the 1920s, Chanel launched her first perfume. This is the iconic Chanel number no. five. She is also known for her signature suits as well as the little black dress. And everyone wants to be front row at her runway shows. Time Magazine labeled Chanel as one of the most influential people in the world. But her life wasn't always glamorous. She was born August 19th, 1883 to a peddler for a father and a laundry woman who was her mother. At the tender age of 12, she loses her mother and her father puts her and her sister in an orphanage. And Chanel speaks of the nuns actually being very strict and they gave her an ultimatum. At 18, she was to either stay and become a nun or she had to leave. So she opted to leave. Chanel wanted to push the envelope. She wanted people to appreciate the functionality and sophistication of her pieces, but she also wanted to dive into skincare and makeup. So in 1924, we see the launch of Chanel's first makeup collection. And in 1927, we see the launch of her skincare line. The skincare line actually consisted of 15 products ranging from lotions, toners, etc. So today there's about 15 lines under Chanel skincare. And again, I'm going to highlight a few of those products as well as their ingredients and why they're highly raved about. But I will tell you friends, just like Estee Lauder, and I did the truths about Estee Lauder, I will leave the link to that video down below. These ladies, not coming from a great past, fabricated you know, their upbringing so that they can step into aristocracy and really trying to lock arms with the right men so that they can actually, you know, fulfill their dreams and launch their lines. That, I guess, was relevant in, you know, back then in the 1930s. I, I just don't know. But anyway, um, to learn more about Chanel's story, there are books, amok in libraries online as well as documentaries here on YouTube. So now let's go into these skincare products, the best sellers that are highly raved about and I'm going to highlight their benefits as well as some of their skincare ingredients. So without further ado, let's get into that. All right and the first product is the iconic Le Lift Cream from Chanel and I first saw this product highly raved about by Huda Katan many years ago she would buy this for her and her mom this is a part of the anti-aging line uh one of the key ingredients botanical alfalfa that is said to you know firm and smooth in the skin much like that of a retinol and the only downside and i took a deep breath here because the second ingredient on the list is alcohol now i don't know if this is a denaturing alcohol i don't know if it's a fatty alcohol um, you definitely have to ask your essay or someone who is more astute on the ingredients that's going into Chanel's products to know if that is fatty or if that's um, a denaturing alcohol. But I've seen many of the reviews rave about seeing results from this product. Again, it is up there in price. I have a few friends that actually use this product and they love it. So you know, I feel like everything is subjective here. And remember, skincare is maintenance. So if you want to really see results from a product, you're going to have to use it for an extended period of time. So this next product from Chanel is a part of the Sublimage line, which is also an anti-aging line um, from Chanel. This one is a mask. What I can tell you about this is that Chanel has put in what they call their enriched vanilla planifolia, which is <clears throat> supposed to be a very rare 
species of vanilla and it's supposed to act on all signs of aging. Now, what I can say about the Sublimage line is that it's very emollient rich. Both natural and synthetic ingredients are in here. Um, canola oil was one that I saw, which everyone raves about. That is enriched with vitamin K for, you know, preventing moisture loss. It also has linoleic acid in there, too, for bringing a smoothness to the skin. And also canola oil is just one that is iconic for you know, moisturizing the skin, strengthening the skin's barrier. And that's what it's really all about when it comes to the skin's barrier. So you can be confident with this product. Again, this is one that is highly raved about. And I've heard a lot of people swear by this, especially softening the skin. It also has like shea butter, camellia seed oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, those sort of emollients that really lend to a healthy skin's barrier. I also wanted to highlight uh, in this product as well. All right, friends, the next product is the Chanel Le Mousse, and this is their anti-pollution cleansing cream to foam. Now, if you followed me on Instagram, yesterday I just posted on Topical Tip Tuesdays about, you know, a skincare guide for beginners and why it's important to go after a really great cleanser that if it's a foaming cleanser, especially that's not stripping the skin because you dehydrate your skin and you cause premature wrinkling to happen. Um, and also, you know, if you're not using a really great cleanser that's just stripping your skin but not really getting rid of the dirt, you're congesting your pores. So I've heard a lot of people rave about this cleanser. And, you know, we think a cleanser is just there for a couple of minutes on our face and then we rinse it off. But every cleanser is not the same, okay? I just want to put that out there. One of the key ingredients that I see in this product is glycerin. It is the second ingredient. Glycerin is a really great emollient. That's what's causing this to still leave your skin feeling soft and smooth. There's also uh, blue algae extract in here to really protect the skin from pollutants. And there's that salicornia extract that's going to help to moisturize as well as fortify the skin. So going after a really great cleanser is going to be key. This one is $47, so not as expensive as the Sublimage line because this is not in the anti-aging um, system of Chanel. All right, and next up is the Chanel de Maquillant EU Intense. This is a biphase eye makeup remover. Some of the key ingredients, cornflower extract as well as rose extract to help to soothe and calm your eye area. And of course, we want to use something that's gentle to the eyes because that is the most fragile part of our face. Um, what I can say is this is really going to get rid of lash glue as well as waterproof mascara. If you don't have a makeup remover and you're just relying on a cleanser, might I implore you to start using a makeup remover. And if you're not using something for the eyes and you always find yourself with residue left over after you've washed your face, then I definitely say go after this. It's only $37. It's not expensive. And it really does live up to its claims. So I know, ooh, ah, uh, this is just makeup remover, but ooh, ah, uh, we need this kind of stuff, especially if we're avid wearers of, you know, eyelashes as well as, you know, waterproof mascara or makeup that is just really hard to get off of our eyes, including eyeshadows, because sometimes you can wash your face and eyeshadows still left behind. This is going to get rid of that as well. All right, another staple is the Huile de Jasmine. This is a revitalizing facial oil, and it has jasmine extract in it, which is a really great antioxidant. Um, $120 is for this product. This was a part of Mademoiselle's original skincare collection, and you can only find this exclusively on Chanel.com. This is to bring about a smoothness and just a comfort to the skin. It has a light floral scent, so again, if you're against you know floral scents, um, or scents in your skincare, then I would stay away from this. This is a naturally derived formula, though. It's composed of some really great ingredients, some pure oils like your chamomile oil. Um, it has your jojoba oil. And this just helps to revitalize the skin. So if you need something like this, you want to warm it up in your hands and then put it on your face and then follow it up with your moisturizer. Or you can put a few drops in your day or night cream. Um, before your application. So yeah, this is that product. Uh, if you're into facial oils, I definitely say try out this one. This typically is a sample that you would get 
um, too if you do purchase on Chanel.com. All right, and this next product is the Le Lift Firming Anti-Wrinkle Flash Eye Revitalizer. I've talked about this in previous videos before. This is pretty much a two-step eye care system. And what you do is you put on the serum first and then you put on the hydrogel patches. And this is to bring a radiance under the eyes. And you get a set of two of the hydrogel patches. Now, a lot of my friends, when I say everyone I know uses this, and it's not cheap. This is a part of the anti-aging line and it is $130. My friend that uses this over and over is Carolyn from CV Makeup Lover. She absolutely loves this. This has um, their 3.5 DA, which is one of their patented ingredients as well as a vitamin complex in here. And this really is to help to reduce puffiness and dark circles under the eye. One, one of my friends said the great thing she does with this is she puts it in the refrigerator um, and it works beautifully in the morning when you have puffiness under the eye and your, your eyes just appear more smoother underneath. So it minimizes the appearance of fatigue. <laughs> I will I will say that because you know you, we have to be very careful with the claims of skincare because it's not approved by the FDA. So one can only claim that it minimizes the appearance of it can't actually um, well, you can't say that it it gets rid of. Uh, this has glycerin as the second ingredient. So again, a really great emollient that is going under the eye area. Butylene glycol just happens to be a fatty um, alcohol if you all wanted to take a look at the uh, ingredient list. Now, I do see that there's alcohol in here. Again, I can't really tell if it's a fatty alcohol or if it's a denaturing alcohol because they're not saying what it is. So that's that with that. But of course, like I said, I've, I've known a lot of people who use this and they brag about this. That is just revolutionary. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below. I look forward to corresponding with you all. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next, and I'll see you all in my next one. Ciao for now. He's ingenious. By observing it each day in Madagascar, Chanel discovered its ultimate secret. In the life cycle of vanilla planifolia, there is a key moment when its fruits offer infinite regenerating properties, when powerful molecules appear briefly. At this essential moment, the planifolia fruits are harvested by hand in order to keep these precious molecules intact. Then, in the Chanel Research Center, they are captured and made eternal using a delicate technique called chrono extraction. Perfectly adapted to the molecule's fragile state, this procedure protects their purity. Through this process, the ephemera of planifolia are created. Key to sublimage la crème. They transmit all of their power to the skin to help create a new vitality, restore its strength, radiance, and perfection. Sublimage.